there is nothing I love more than coming down to this view. Please excuse my croaky voice because it is rather early in the morning, but a beautiful tidy kitchen, the sun streaming in through the windows. Oh my goodness me, it's mornings like this where I just pinch myself that this is our kitchen. It's not even 7am yet and I already have the French doors open, which means it's going to be a rather beautiful day. It is so lovely and warm and so nice to get that morning fresh air coming into the kitchen. All you can hear out in the garden is the birds twittering away. I just, I can't get over my view. This is honestly the dream. A proper good morning, mon petit, what a way to start the day. There is nothing I love more than just being able to sit outside with my morning cup of tea, listen to the bird song, soak up a little bit of vitamin D and just enjoy the morning sunshine. I feel like that fresh air that you get in the morning, nothing is quite the same, nothing hits quite like it. It's just been a lovely start to my day, but I am dressed and ready for the day now. Although feeling a little bit naked with regards to jewelry. I always feel naked when I come on here without all of my jewelry on. Obviously we've got the ring on because that pretty much never comes off, but I don't have any earrings or anything else on because I have a new delivery that I wanted to unbox with you from our favorites at Cezanne. Honestly, I cannot resist Cezanne at the moment. I feel like Cezanne is just such a dangerous place to be this summer. They've had so many gorgeous bits in with regards to their fashion, their shoes, their accessories, and of course their jewelry. You know, I just can't resist the jewelry at the moment. I absolutely adore their pieces and I've been adding so many bits into my jewelry collection. And I've been really having fun with my jewelry this year. I feel like this year has been the year for me to discover fun jewelry, how I can style it up, how I can wear it. And especially when it comes to outfits like this, how you can really elevate your looks. I feel like jewelry can literally make or break your outfit. Like I'm literally just wearing today a pair of linen trousers and I've got on this little black tee, which has been one of my favorite outfits actually in the summer because it's just really simple, really really easy but with the right jewellery it looks so elevated and so pulled together so we have a little bit of a Cezanne accessories haul for you I may have also picked up a bag and I think it is safe to say that this is the bag that I have been looking for my dream bag for the summer so let's get into this haul let me unbox what I've been picking up at Cezanne let's start with earrings because I feel like Cezanne has been the brand for me to really showcase how you can have fun with earrings. I never used to be a fun earring girl. I'm not going to lie to you. And ever since I discovered Suzanne's earrings, I have not been able to resist, especially on days when you're having maybe a bit of a bad hair day. I quite like doing a lot of the kind of like half up, half down look, a fully slicked back bun, ponytails. Wearing a gorgeous pair of earrings literally just lifts your face, it elevates your entire outfit. It looks so stylized, which is what I really, really love. So I discovered these and they are very similar to my favorite pair of Suzanne earrings, but in a kind of like different style and I just fell in love with them. How well are you going to be able to see these? I hope they don't come up too stocks. So we're right next to the window but the most beautiful pair of mother of pearl kind of like petal drop earrings. Oh my goodness I just fell in love with them and I've got the gorgeous pair of earrings that I'd like a hoop that have this kind of similar mother of pearl style at the bottom and I wear them so so much. They are definitely my most warm pair of Cezanne earrings so when I saw these on the website I just had to get them. I mean, how fun are they? I feel like they are just the perfect piece to elevate your look. As I said, especially if you're doing like a slick back bun because it just means that like the earrings are the talking point. It's like the earrings are your hair. You know when you're having a bad hair day, the earrings are the hair. <laughs> I actually really like it with my hair down as well. Normally when it comes to like big statement earrings, I find it too much with my hair down, but I feel like these aren't too much in the slightest. I think they're just so much fun and they do come in lots of different colors. So I'll leave these linked down below and I think they do like a red, a black, maybe like a tortoise shell. I'll leave them linked if you want to have a look, but I feel like these are going to be such a staple in my jewelry collection, especially when it comes to summer styling. I'm going to be reaching for these so, so much. I then also picked up something that I am so, so excited about. Now, if you know me, you will know that there is one particular thing that I adore with regards to my jewelry and that is 
pearls. I feel like pearls are just so timeless. They're so classic. They're so easy to style. And I saw a pearl necklace on Cezanne and I could not resist it because I don't have anything like this in my collection. And I thought it was perfect for a bit more of a kind of day to day style and a day to day look. The most beautiful, really dainty pearl necklace. How gorgeous is this now i love a string of pearls because i feel like a string of pearls is just the most timeless and the most classic but i don't have anything that's like this teeny tiny and this dainty oh she is perfect absolutely perfect the most gorgeous everyday pearl necklace that's what i've been really wanting to add into my collection pearl necklace that i can wear a little bit more casually i do find the other necklaces that i have in my collection they are very very like evening appropriate they are very elevated which is lovely but not on a day like today when i'm just wearing like a little top i just want to add a little bit of elevation to the outfit you could even layer this up as well i think that would look so amazing with like a couple more kind of like chain gold pieces i think would look so so beautiful with this if you wanted to go for something like really stylized for me personally i just like wearing one necklace by itself and i think this works so well with the neckline the fact that it's like almost the exact kind of same length as the neckline i think is so flattering and this is going to go with so much in my summer wardrobe oh my goodness i couldn't be more obsessed i kind of love how the earrings work with the necklace as well oh i'm just in love well it's safe to say that the jewelry pieces are an absolute win now i'm really hoping this next item is also going to be the perfect piece to add into my wardrobe as i mentioned i may have picked up a bag at Suzanne. and if you were looking for a beautiful timeless like kind of middle of the range like mid price point bag i would definitely recommend checking out Suzanne. their leather bags are just absolutely gorgeous and in the summer they have the most amazing collection of basket bags now there is one thing that i actually mentioned in my bag collection video if you watch that i'll leave that linked down below that i felt like i was missing with regards to like my summer bag wardrobe and that is a clutch bag especially when it comes to wearing something that i don't really want any kind of like hardware on i don't want any colorways or anything like that because you know me and if it has a tiniest little bit of like leather whether that's black or tan i will always feel like i need to wear matching shoes so i really wanted something that i could wear with absolutely anything like any piece of footwear anything in my wardrobe that doesn't have any colorway doesn't have any hardware is more of a clutch start and i saw this on suzanne and I fell in love. So I'm really, really hoping that this is just going to be the perfect piece to add into my summer evening wear wardrobe. Oh my goodness me, here she is. Now I've already forgotten the name of this bag. Is it gonna tell me on the tag? The Isabel, the Isabel clutch bag. And what I really loved about the Isabel is she's not actually a clutch bag. She does actually have a little top handle. The handle is actually a little chain, which is in the exact same material as the bag. And I have never seen anything like this. Usually when a bag has a chain, it's either gold or it's silver. So you really need to think about the hardware that you're wearing with it, or it has like a leather strap or it will just be a completely plain strap in the same material. I've never seen anything that is literally a chain detail in the same raffia material as the bag. And I also just fell in love with the woven detail. It looks very Bottega to me, but obviously for a fraction of the price. Now, the only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed with, I'm not gonna lie to you, you know, I'm always honest when it comes to these things. It is not patterned on the back. Now, I don't know if that was a deliberate design choice that you can kind of wear it either way, but to tell you the truth, I think it's kind of a cost saving thing that they've done, which is a shame because it's not exactly like a high street price with regards to this bag. I mean, it's not like a designer price point. It's an amazing kind of middle of the range, but I would have expected to have had the back detailed in the same way that the front is because I just love this detailing. I love the fact that it looks like a croissant to me. Is it just me that thinks that? I feel like my brain sometimes goes to the weirdest places, but I just love the fact that you've got this like woven detailing. I think it adds so much interest to the bag and it looks like a really decent size as well. So it's not lined on the inside, which actually I'm fine with because it is a beautiful like raffia on the inside as well. The only actual kind of like detailing, the only colorway you can see is a little pop of tan, but that is absolutely okay to me. I'm not to be worried about matching my shoes to literally the zip or the inside of my handbag but i feel like i'm going to be able to fit a lot in that which is great because i am someone who always overpacks whenever it comes to my handbags even like an evening bag i want to have with me a lipstick i want to have with me like plasters or painkillers or my camera or my purse like i always want to have a lot of things with me so i'm really really excited and i just love the fact that it is actually 
handle bag so you can wear it clutch which i really like it doesn't look like this can come off let's have a little look is this detachable it is detachable oh my gosh so you can wear it as a clutch if you want to that is absolutely amazing so if you're not the biggest fan of the chain which why would you not be because that is the coolest thing i have ever seen you can literally just wear it as a plain clutch as well which i think is so so beautiful and i've really seen a rise recently in this kind of style clutch bag when it comes to summer evening wear styling i've seen dior actually released it wasn't technically a clutch bag but i've seen so many girls using it as a clutch bag like a little raffia kind of clutch which i think came came with sun cream potentially so i've seen dior have released something i've seen Bottega have released some similar ones cult gaia loewe which obviously are much much higher price points so i love the fact that i can pick something up that's like a really really similar style really similar in the kind of vibe but obviously a fraction of the price so i think it is safe to say that this has just been the bag that i have been missing from my summer handbag collection and i'm so excited to get so much wear out of this whenever it comes to evening styling so today has actually ended up being quite an unintentional laptop day didn't mean it to be this kind of screen focused, screen heavy day, but I have finally been feeling a little bit re-inspired for this room. Now this room was a room that when we first moved in, I mentioned that it was a very much a temporary setup. And when I said temporary, I never meant for it to be something that I would live with for a month or two months or like change within a couple of months. I knew I wanted to live in the space for at least six months, if not a year, because everything we're doing with this house is really slow. I'm doing slow design with this house, really intentional pieces and making sure that everything I'm adding in has a purpose. And I love this space. My little dressing room is just such a sanctuary for me. I love how much of a personality it has compared to the rest of the house and I'm loving styling it. And I feel like I have found my spark again with regards to the interiors in this room because as much as it is a temporary setup, I still want it to be functional. I want it to be beautiful. I want it to be really, really aesthetic. So you can kind of see behind me the style that we are going for. It's like very minimal. We have a little bit of styling going on. We have a little bit of a color palette and it very much is a feminine room, which is what I love about this space. It's a really big space as well. Like I feel like you can never quite gauge on camera just quite how much like floor plan there is and how much space I have to like move about and play about. And I actually have another piece that is coming from Suzanne. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't know that Suzanne did this. It is a homeware piece from Suzanne. And I've not shopped Suzanne homeware a huge amount. I've got the tablecloth from them. I've shopped like candles and like soaps in the past, but never like a big, a big ticket item, if that makes sense. And when I saw this piece on Suzanne's website, I just fell in love. And I feel like it's given me my spark back with regards to designing this room. And I feel like it has been the missing piece of the puzzle with regards to the color scheme, the vibe, and the overall aesthetic that we have in this room. Because if you know, every single room in this house has its own personality. It's got its own color scheme, and I absolutely love that. And this room, it is safe to say, is the girliest room in the house. I mean, it's my dressing room, so of course it was going to be girly. It's very girly, it's very feminine, it's very princessy without being too princessy you know what i mean so i do have another piece coming from suzanne which i'm really hoping is going to arrive in this video sometime this week so that i can unbox it with you guys and we can style it up a little bit in fact i might actually show you my mood board if and when it does arrive so that i can show you the kind of overall vibe that we are going for with this room which i feel like i am doing quite a good job at achieving you know how much we love creating a mood board so that's what i've been doing this afternoon mood boarding planning thinking about the style that I want to achieve in this room and just getting my spark back with regards to interiors in my dressing room. But I can hear that Alex is cooking dinner downstairs. So I'm gonna get myself downstairs because I am hungry. <laughs> I've come downstairs and it smells absolutely incredible. Chef Alex is in the house and I'm so excited for dinner tonight. We actually picked up these burger patties at the farm shop recently and they look absolutely incredible. The kitchen's looking a little bit messy at the moment. I've not actually had a chance to show you either the lavender, which um, I showed you in the last vlog, the gorgeous lavender from Neptune. I 
can't tell you how amazing it smells when you put the toaster away from our lunch earlier, but it just smells absolutely incredible. I popped it in this little vase. Um, it's a really old vase from, I think, Primark Home, potentially? Um, but yes, absolutely love how it looks there. I feel like it just fills the space so, so perfectly. But Alex is on veg duty, cutting up the onions and the tomatoes. And oh my goodness me, I am so, so excited for dinner. As per usual, my favorite task whenever it comes to dinners. I've been asked to pick some lettuce. I might actually do some of the curly leaf lettuce because this is looking ready to go. I mean, look at that, look at the size of it. It's always just my favorite thing to come out here and pick some lettuce leaves for dinner. Nothing makes me happier. You know the drill, give them a good old wash to make sure that they are each individually washed off. There are a lot of beasties around at the moment, quite a lot of Beasties in my veg truck actually, which is a little bit annoying. I had to um, pluck out a snail the other day. He was trying to feast on my lettuce leaves, but give him a good old wash, give him a dry with a little tea cloth, and they are ready for dinner. I think we also just need to appreciate the size of this tomato. Uh. This was also picked up at the farm shop, which is literally the only place I want to buy fruit and veg from now because it was all so fresh and just looked absolutely amazing. And I mean, you have big hands. So the fact that it looks that big next to your hand, like I feel like we need to compare it next to my hand because it's such a huge tomato. That's going to be so juicy as well. I'm so excited for that. It's going to be juicy, amazing. Juicy, <laughs> juicy, juicy. We often get a lot of questions asking about what it's like to cook on the Range Master. What would you say, considering your main chef over here? I would say... Not that, you know, I have much experience cooking on different, you know. No, but as in like we had, we've done extraction, that. not extraction, what's the word? Induction. induction. <laughs> we've done induction, we've had a gas hob, and then we've got this one, and then obviously the oven as well, because we've got chippies in the oven, which, I mean, I oh, would, they look amazing. I would easily say, mm -hmm. as nerve-wracking it is at times working with a gas hob, <laughs> leaving the gas on, waiting for the ignition to catch, yeah. risking eyebrows getting singed. <laughs> I actually would say this range of master is easily the best thing I've ever cooked on. Mm. It's just so versatile and it's always plentiful in whatever I need, whether it be- Yeah, there's so much room to yeah, cook. Yeah, whether it be doing a simple meal like this or doing a massive batch cook mm. of different meals, I never run out of space. It's it just comes so well equipped. So like, handy. It's easily the best thing. Yeah, I must admit. I mean, one thing you know I can do is a Sunday roast, and this is the best thing to do a Sunday roast in because obviously you've got the the grill, you've got the warming oven down there, then you've got two main ovens that you can use. They're smelling absolutely amazing. Yeah, like I, I can genuinely, I can cook uh, three different meals mm. where for batch cooking. So that's like getting three or four dinners for two people yeah. out of, you know, three meals. It's amazing. That, that's how yeah. much food I can get off this It's hobble so, end. so good. Because it's just purely because of like how big and wide it is. Yeah, you can just we do so absolutely love it. it. And I love the fact that this one is still available, despite the fact that ours is obviously vintage, retro, whatever you want to call it. This exact one is still available. We've literally seen it at John Lewis. Oh yeah, they do so. like modern versions of them now, like in this exact style, but yeah. you know, more, A more up-to-date version, yeah. yeah. It's incredible. Oh, I'm so looking forward to these burgers. We're doing them as cheeseburgers. Where did you get these from? I actually just picked them up in, um, Asda, I ah, think it was. They're it's amazing. Like already like pre-sliced, so you've got like little bits of paper so you can just take it so it so doesn't get handy. stuck to each other. So it's Montgomery Jack and barbecue burger mounts. It's they like a really nice. like a barbecue -y, cheesy. Oh, absolutely amazing. How come you do the burgers in the pan now? Because once you tried them on this, did you not enjoy doing it on that? It's just preference. It's just like the cleanup's a lot easier on the pan. <laughs> like you do get a nice because this heats up a lot. It's really cool, isn't it? Because you effectively, it's just a cover for the hogs, but you put both of these on, so you get an insane amount of heat off this thing. Mm -hmm. So you can really like see the burgers, especially with this uh, grill bit here. Yeah. You've only ever done but, that once. I mean, yeah, no, it had a nice, it did grill them really well, and cook them really well, but it, like the cleanup. Yeah, it was back, an absolute nightmare. <laughs> it was just a bit, you know, 
more effort. A bit much for a quick effort. evening dinner. Yeah. Literally. But it, it's a good like showpiece, you know. Yeah. Company, <laughs> You've got guests, it's really yeah. cool, but when it's just the two of us. And you just want to do something, like you just want to cook them like nice and simple, you know. Yeah. It's nice having the option though. It is. The precision that goes into an Alexander James burger. <laughs> it's like an art form. Silence! <laughs> Silence. Oh, it looks so good. I'm literally hovering over you because I'm just so hungry right now. I'm so desperate to tuck I in. <laughs> Don't forget the chippies. Well, I think we can all agree that that is a gourmet looking dinner. Oh my goodness me, I think you may have outdone yourself, my darling. This looks absolutely in. Incredible. Well, that was absolutely delicious. I've just been tidying up the kitchen post dinner and I thought I would show you properly how the lavender is looking because that was definitely not a good representation. I did have to give it a little trim for this vase and I don't know whether to give it a little bit more. What do you think? I feel like it's a little bit tall for it. Like I could maybe give it another centimeter of a trim so that it fits perfectly, but I love how it sits over in this corner. I feel like it just fills that gap. We actually quite we quite like having our countertops a little bit busier. I feel like it really suits the farmhouse style in the kitchen. I always like having some kind of like fresh pastries or cakes or anything like that in the cake, um, what's this called, cake stand. We always have our butcher's block on the side. I like to have like a little arrangement over here. We've got like the basil and things like that. As you can see, it's quite a full side unit and I do quite like having a lot of things out because I just think it really works especially with like the splashback the real like country farmhouse style of the kitchen and of the tiles I think it really really works so I'm absolutely loving the new addition and how it looks in the kitchen and honestly the smell I can't even tell you how incredible it smells but after a delicious dinner we're going to sit ourselves down have a little look through Netflix maybe watch a film tonight and just have a lovely cozy evening Well, today started in the best way possible. Out for a walk in the new forest, not necessarily in the beautiful sunshine, but still getting some lovely morning fresh air. I swear, I need to go a single vlog without commenting on the weather. But here in the UK at the moment, we literally have whiplash from the weather, from the sun versus the rain versus the cloud that we are experiencing at the moment. And it seems like we have lost the sunshine at four today. It's a little bit cloudy. It's a little bit muggy, actually, which I feel like is a term. Oh my goodness. I feel like the sun is just coming out as I am saying that. Can you see? the lighting changed at all we might actually be getting a little bit of sunshine today that is rather exciting but yeah it feels very muggy today which i feel like is a town that we only really use in britain i think most other nations would say close you know the kind of weather where it just feels very close to your skin it feels a little bit humid it feels a little bit like I don't know, muggy is just the term that we use here in the UK. That is what it is feeling like today. So I've got my little H&M knitted top on watch. Honestly, I've worn so much since the H&M haul that I did at, I was about to say the start of the month. It was like mid-July that I did the haul. I've been wearing so many of the pieces so, so much. And I've got my little linen trousers on again today. And of course I am wearing the little Suzanne earrings, little big Suzanne earrings, because they are actually so comfortable. Like I wore them all day yesterday and I did not feel them on my ears. Like, you know, when sometimes you buy maybe more affordable jewelry and it's not made quite as well. And it, by the end of the day, you're ready to rip them out of your ears. Like your earlobes feel like they are being pulled down. It doesn't feel like that at all with the Suzanne earrings, which I absolutely love. So I've got them on again today, especially when I do like a half up, half down look like this. I love how the earrings look when I I've just got my hair scraped back because I feel like it just really elevates my outfit. And I've not really done a huge amount with my hair or makeup today. And speaking of makeup, I do actually have some rather exciting new beauty bits to show you that I actually used this morning. And if you're wondering why it's back in the packaging, it's because I did do that typical beauty blogger thing where I've used something, but I've put it back in its packaging because so I want to show you it in the most beautiful way possible that it arrived to me because how lovely is this delivery from Lancome? This to me is the epitome of like English rose summer makeup. I could not be more in love with the pieces that they very, very kindly sent over. So I thought I would show them to you because I actually used this this morning and I am in love 
with this. So I used it both on my eyes and I also actually used it, I don't know if you can see the sheen on my cheekbones, but I kind of use it as a bit more of a highlighter. It is the Adol Tint in the shade 02. It says here, it's the Adol Tint Liquid Eye Blusher. And I think that is the best way to describe it as like an eye blush. I do love a pinky eye at the moment. I just feel like it gives you such a beautiful like sun-kissed glow. And especially if you use it in the same capacity as your blush, it just ties the whole makeup look in together. So it's a funny applicator. It's just like this little kind of like doe foot applicator, but it actually was so, so easy to apply. I literally did a couple of dots on my cheeks and then just blended it in with my fingers and the same on my eye. And I really, really love the effect it's not too pinky. It's actually a little bit more mauvey, I would say, on my skin personally, but I think it works really, really well. And then I did actually use that with the Adol Mascara, which I've not used in such a long time, and I kind of forgot how much I love it. If you just want a your lashes but better look, I'm not really going for like full glam this week. Like I've just got a week at home. It's quite a chill vlog this week, and I feel like this is the perfect mascara for that. It's just very your lashes but better. Gives you a little bit of volume, a little bit of lift, a little bit of length that is exactly what i want from my mascara they also sent over which i've not used for years i'm not going to lie to you the adult liner which is oh, jammed in there my goodness the liquid liner i absolutely adore this particularly if i'm on holiday or if i'm skiing because it's actually a waterproof liquid liner so it is the kind of thing that you need to make sure that you have a really really good makeup remover to take this off with otherwise it will hurt your eyes i do find that like liquid liners that are waterproof can really cling onto your eyes but especially in the summer when you're going to be sweating a lot maybe you're in and out of water if you're going on holiday this is such a great one to add into your makeup bag and they are such a great duo the mascara and the liner together i do absolutely adore them and then on my lips i have used the new lip idol this is the squalene 12 butter glow is butter glow the actual shade yeah i think butter glow is the shade 30 butter glow and oh my gosh it's such a beautiful like nudie color it is quite pigmented so i actually just kind of like dabbed it on my lips like this because i find otherwise it's a little bit too much color payoff for me and i don't like a really heavy very bright lip on it myself but oh my gosh it is the most beautiful like buttery i think buttermilk is like the perfect name but also such a great way to describe how the lipstick feels it's very smooth it's very buttery it went on so seamlessly and i just applied that with the liner i used this liner this morning this is in the shade Idol Nude, number 33. And then they also have sent over Nude Now, which is a little bit darker. I don't know if you can see, so I used, although this one on the camera is coming up darker, but definitely in real life, it looks a little bit lighter, a little bit more peachy. This one's a little bit more mauvey. I feel like they're not coming across on camera how they actually are in real life. But oh my gosh, this is such a gorgeous duo. So easy to apply. And I feel like it might just be my new favorite summer lip of choice so some very very kind gifts from Lancome that I had a lot of fun with applying this morning and I'm kind of loving the very glowy English rose summer makeup look that I'm getting from this so I've just come out into the garden despite the fact that we don't have sunny weather today so it does look a little bit more magical when the sun shines but I just had to show you an update on our tree. Now, obviously a lot of the plants that are here in the garden are plants that we have inherited, but to tell you the honest truth, we don't know exactly what they are. And this tree I am fascinated by because it is the end of July and I have never known a tree to flower at the end of July. Look at these little flowers. They look to me like mimosa flowers. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but they are beautiful and it is all over the tree as you can see it's actually quite funny seeing the growth that is growing from this tree can you see down there we did give it a bit of a trim when we first moved in and it's got quite a few leaves that we're going to have to cut back so that it puts all its energy into growing up and not down but you can see so many buds that are about to bloom as well hello mr noisy crow <laughs> But how stunning are these flowers? I've never seen anything like it. And I need to find out what, I was going to say breed, is that the right word? What breed of tree? That's definitely not the right word I'm looking for. But what this tree actually is, there's a little wumble bee in there who seems to be really enjoying the flowers, which always makes me really, really happy. But yeah, they're just the most beautiful flowers and they are literally covering the entire tree. And I'm just so, so fascinated by them. So there's actually a new feature on Apple, which I think is so, so cool. And it negates the need to pay for the picture of this app, which makes me really, really happy. So I've just taken a photo of the tree and you can look up the plant and it tells me it is 
either a rose of Sharon or a hibiscus plant. It's never 100% accurate. That to me, it does look kind of hibiscusy, but that is more accurate compared to what the actual flower is. That is definitely the flower that we have got. So it is a species of flowering plant in the mallow family, Mal Malvasia. It is native to areas of East Asia, but widely introduced elsewhere. Oh my goodness me, so we've got an Asian tree. That is absolutely amazing. I love the fact that you can now look up the plants on Google and not have to pay for the picture this app. But yeah, just wanted to show you that update on our tree because a flowering tree in July, I've honestly never seen anything like it. Well, excitingly, I have just had confirmation from Royal Mail that my Suzanne order is going to be arriving tomorrow, which is very, very exciting. So I can definitely show you the new homeware piece in this vlog. But for now, I have something else that I wanted to show you a gorgeous new delivery from I think it's safe to say one of my favorite favorite dress brands especially when it comes to more like elevated dresses and especially with my new little bag I have a couple of gorgeous dresses to add into my wardrobe which I feel like are just gonna be so perfect for any kind of summer events wedding season is still very much upon us I don't know about you but I still have weddings to think about until literally the end of September and I feel like now is the perfect time to pick up dresses for those occasions because you don't really know what the weather's gonna be like so it's quite nice to have dresses that kind of cover all eventualities that you can have in your rapport you have ready that you know you're going to be able to wear so i've got a couple of new dresses from hobbs that i wanted to show you that i think are just going to be so so perfect for event attire and occasion wear this summer now i did pick both of these dresses up from hobbs petite which always excites me so so much because they're actually going to fit in the length and in the torso as well that's always something for me that i find very difficult because i have a very short torso and this dress particularly i definitely need it from the petite section because it's a beautiful maxi dress i mean look at the design of this it is the most beautiful sagey green color i'm so in love with this color it's actually very similar to the color that we've got in the nancy Myers office here in the house it's almost got a little bit of a blue tint to it as well which i think is just gonna be so perfect for like an august or september wedding i love the fact that it comes with sleeves because as i said here in the uk you never know what kind of weather you're going to get so it's quite nice to have that option of like a sleeve coverage but it is an organza sleeve so it's really lightweight it's gonna be super comfortable to wear and i just fell in love with the design detail I mean, look at the pattern the beautiful floral print that runs down it with the gorgeous buttons i love how the buttons tie in together the fact that they are the same shade that they are the same material as the rest of the dress i feel like they just flow so seamlessly it does come up with a little belt so that you can cinch it in i think this is just gonna be so perfect for any kind of summer occasions that you have coming up whether you are attending a wedding like a graduation or anything like that i feel like this is just the perfect dress to style up for it oh my goodness me this entire outfit i am wedding guest ready i mean look at how beautiful this is i'm literally going supersonic i cannot deal with how stunning this entire outfit is like never mind just the dress the whole outfit just pairs so so beautifully together i even love how the earrings look with the dress and even the hairstyle i never would have thought to wear a hairstyle like this to a wedding but actually it works really well with the dress because it allows you to kind of really show off that detailing the neckline is so flattering i do love a crew neckline on me with the button detail if you wanted to maybe make it a little bit more kind of undone a little bit more casual you could definitely undo a few buttons maybe add a necklace i think it would be so so gorgeous i love the organza sleeves as well i think they are just absolutely beautiful and the shape of the dress is just stunning we've obviously got that gorgeous cinched in waist and as i said the length is perfect so i've just paired it with my favorite pair of castagna wedges which i always love wearing to weddings because they are so comfortable and so easy to wear i find that i can last all day at weddings and despite the fact that there's no fully matchy matchy going on i know i mentioned yesterday when i unboxed this bag one of the things i loved about it is the fact that i don't have to think about like the colorway of the shoes whether i want to wear leather shoes whether i want to wear like strappy shoes or anything like that i don't have to think about it hugely but what i do love about the espadrilles is the fact that you've got that kind of like raffia detailing at the bottom that rattan detailing you've obviously got the rattan detailing in the bag so even though it's not fully matchy matchy we still have elements that tie in really nicely together I also kind of love the fact that I've gone for the gorgeous like ivory shoes and it ties really nicely with the ivory earrings. See, this is what I love 
when it comes to styling just pieces pairing together and like really creating a seamless look with your outfit so you can tell that you've put thought and effort into it especially when it comes to wedding styling you just want to look your best so this i think is just the perfect outfit to attend any gorgeous august or september wedding that you might have coming up i cannot be more in love this dress is a little bit more moody in tone this i feel like would be so perfect if you've maybe got a september or an october wedding coming up i mean can you imagine this and like a beautiful english country manor in like september time when it's starting to get a little bit cooler the trees are starting to change sorry i really shouldn't be talking about autumn already but the weather today is kind of making me excited for a little bit of autumnal coziness but i just think this would be such a gorgeous dress if you have a wedding a little bit later on in the season i know it can be a little bit tricky to style up wedding guest dresses when it's a little bit later in the season but i think this one is so beautiful it again has the kind of all detailing i always love more of a fluted sleeve i find it so flattering that it's got this gorgeous like detailing inside so you kind of have the organza on top but you obviously have the kind of like coverage underneath so it's got like a little slip attached which i love this is more of like a midaxi length which i think is really really flattering it's such a beautiful style It'd be so perfect for wedding season if you do have a wedding coming up a little bit later on in the year i just love the navy coloring with the gorgeous like blue floral detailing it's just so beautiful and so elegant <gasps> another absolute beauty of a dress i mean look at how stunning does this look the perfect like end of summer early autumn wedding guest dress i've styled it up with the same accessories because i feel like the lighter accessories are what makes it end of summer if it was maybe like end of october even early november first of all i would suggest thermals because it probably will be a little bit chilly but i'd also say go for darker accessories that was would be how it would be taken into more of like an autumnal even wintry vibe if you went for like black shoes if you went for like a black bag i think that would look so so gorgeous with the dress but i just love the floral detailing i love the like ditzy blue i think it's absolutely gorgeous and obviously because it's petite it means that it fits so nicely the torso actually fits so the slip underneath fits beautifully i don't need to worry about it being too low on my torso and i love the sleeves as well they are so so beautiful the back again just goes so perfectly with this Do you know what i really love about this is just how much they've like thought about those kind of like additional details they've thought about the versatility of the bags so as i said you can wear it as a clutch you can completely take the chain off which i really really like but you know what you can also do with it which i think is amazing is you can adjust the length of the straps if you wanted to wear it over the shoulder like this you can just wear it at the normal length but because it's just got that little kind of like popper detail on the inside you can actually attach it to any one of these chains so if you wanted it to be a little bit more kind of like top handle vibe or if you wanted to wear it like in the crook of your arm you can shorten the chain as well which i really really love i think it's such a perfect addition with this outfit i think it just goes really really beautifully and is just the perfect like occasion wear bag an occasion wear accessory for all of my summer occasions whether that's evening occasions whether that's like wedding occasions events anything like that it's just so so perfect and it goes with absolutely everything so i'm in love with this dress as well this is such a perfect addition and if i have any events that are coming up that's maybe a little bit like the weather isn't quite as sunny and beautiful or it's a little bit more of an autumnal vibe this is going to be the perfect dress to wear for that it has arrived i am so so excited right now i mean look at the size of this oh my little egghead in the corner i'm gonna pop you down here and we can open this up together because oh my goodness me i don't think i have ever seen a sedan box this big in my entire life they're really liking their own tape with these boxes aren't they but this is so exciting and i can also share with you the mood box i realize i'm not actually shown you that yet and i feel like it's quite an active ac ac accurate representation of the kind of vibe that we've got from the dressing room and just the overall aesthetic that we are going for in here oh my goodness oh, wow it's been packaged beautifully it's in like individual boxes so i'm guessing that they put like the different elements of it in each box i mean how gorgeous is this okay this i can tell which bit that is this is the top bit i don't know which bit i want to open first i might actually open this one first because i think this is just the piece de resistance with this new item now i have actually picked up a lamp 
from Cezanne, which as I said, I've never bought anything from their kind of like furniture collection before. Obviously I've got the tablecloth, I have a candle that I bought from Cezanne, like some soap, things like that. Little homework pieces here and there, little home decor bits, but this is the most beautiful lamp I have ever laid my eyes on. And I'm not gonna lie, the price tag does reflect that, but I think it's going to be 10,000% worth it because look at this. Oh my goodness me. The most beautiful lampshade I think I have ever, ever laid my eyes on. The most beautiful like pink and red detailing running throughout it. It is just going to be the perfect addition to add into this room. Oh my goodness, I honestly cannot get over how beautifully this has been packaged. It feels like I am literally opening a work of art. So this is the base to put with the lampshade, the most beautiful like pearly pink. It's actually kind of the same color as my nails, the most beautiful like nudie, pearly pink base to go with the shade. Oh my word, how Stunning at these. I hope you can see this. Okay, all the way from that far away. Okay, that way? No, I think it does go that way. I think I'm just showing it to you upside down. <gasps> it's beautiful. I don't know if you could see it very well from that far away, but look at how stunning that pink base is. I feel like it works so, so well with the wall color. I often get questions about this wall color because especially in this room, it looks very pinky in tone. It almost looks like a setting plaster color, which I absolutely adore. So this is natural hessian from Dulux on the walls, which I love. And I feel like it really pulls out the pink in the base and then the shade as well. Sorry, I was showing it to you upside down before. Not that I think it really overly matters, but the shade, obviously I'll put that on properly in a second, but oh, my goodness me, how stunning is this? A real focus point to the room. As I said, this has been the piece that I feel like has reignited my love, re-inspired me to really get going with home decorating and get going with the kind of interior styling with this room. And I just think this is such a feature piece to go in this room. Oh my word, I am absolutely in love. <laughs> I am not joking when I say that. I have just been running around the house trying to find a light bulb that fits the lamp. Why is it that every single feature is different? Like every light fitting and lamp requires a different bulb. But thank goodness I had one that fitted so I can set her up completely. And oh my goodness me, I am in love with how she is looking. Isn't it just such a mad phenomenon? How much paint can change color, depending on the light, depending on like the coolness or the warmness of the room, even depending on like what's now in front of it. I feel like now that I've got the lamp on, this paint color looks very bluey in tone. It looks very cool toned, but 99.9% .9 of the time it looks really warm toned. That's so bizarre. I've never really noticed that before, but how stunning does this look? I love the warm glow that it gives. I feel like this is going to be such a perfect lamp to pop on in like the winter months when I just want a little bit of like a warm glow coming into this room. I'm so, so in love with her. Let me just click her off as well so you can see her without actually being on so you can see how the lamp will look 99.9% .9 of the time over here in this corner. Now I am going to need your help because I'm undecided whether to keep her here or whether to move her over to my desk. So the other place that I could put her, please excuse all the boxes from where I had just been unboxing the other option is popping her here because again in the winter months I might want her for when I'm doing my makeup and getting ready in the morning I'm not entirely sure I love sitting by the bay windows in the morning and just getting myself ready and it might give me a bit of joy seeing it there but I also really like the idea of it being like in the background of videos and things like that and I quite like how this looks I always find whenever it comes to kind of like console styling or whenever it comes to shelf styling or just any kind of interior styling I love the rule of three having three different things all of which with different heights with different widths different kind of properties I think it really really adds to it so I might just move this forward a little bit I don't know whether I can hide the wire a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, maybe that's a little bit too crowded now. Let me know what your thoughts are. We can have a little bit of a play around, but I'm totally open to where she can go. I'm totally open to ideas and suggestions. You guys are always the best whenever it comes to giving me good ideas and good suggestions of what to do with things. See, I do love how that looks in the background of the video. Just seeing that little pop of pink. Honestly, I feel like Suzanne can just do no wrong. I'm actually wearing a Suzanne dress today, which wasn't even intentional. Maybe it was like psychological 
logically ingrained in my brain knowing that the delivery was going to arrive today i've also got another pair of my favorite little Cezanne earrings i keep saying little Cezanne earrings they're definitely not little ones my statement is Cezanne earrings which i absolutely adore especially because i've just been tying my hair up like this so so much with the heat and just the fact that i'm kind of like struggling with regards to my hairstyles at the moment but yeah let me know what we think let me show you actually the mood board that i have been working on recently because you know i love a mood board and i feel like it really helps me just kind of like pull all of my ideas in together and it just helps me create like a bit of an overall vibe of this room and as i was creating this mood board my main takeaway as i was creating this is just how white everything looks i do love like you know white cupboards and i love my white shelves maybe i should add some bags on the shelves just to kind of like show how it styles because it never looks quite this stark in real life and obviously with the gorgeous wooden flooring like it really helps bring in that warmth but when I designed the mood board, I did pop the lamp on here, which I hadn't even realised until I've just looked at this now. I did pop the lamp here. So I'm debating whether to move it over. I'm not sure. I don't know which way it would work best. Um, but this is just kind of an overall vibe of how the dressing room is looking now. I'm thinking of changing the light feature to something a little bit more interesting i think is the best term to use i just have um a very affordable lampshade on there at the moment so i think maybe something a little bit more of a statement would be really really nice but other than that this is everything that i already have in the room i always just bring in things that are maybe a little bit similar in style not necessarily the exact same so like my console table my chair my little poof and then at the little pop of pink it just adds such a gorgeous bit of detailing and it just makes me want to add a little bit more interest into this room obviously it does need to stay fairly neutral because whenever i'm you know doing videos or reels or like showing you outfits that needs to be the focus but i think adding a little bit more personality into this room would just be such a lovely way of just elevating it and as i said every single room in this house has its own personality it has its own vibe and i think the girly feminine kind of princess vibe of this room is something that i can really lean into so i'm really excited to kind of expand the mood board and add to it and just see how else we can change up this room and like add to the vibe of it and i really do feel like the lamp has just been the catalyst for me just like give me my spark back and on that note i think i might leave this vlog here because oh my goodness me i cannot believe how much newness there has been in this video how much i've had to show you to haul to unbox there has been so many exciting things in this video if you do want to shop anything from the video they will all be linked down below in the description box and i feel like it's important to say there are a few different price points in this video particularly the Cezanne lamp I'm not going to lie to you, it is eye-watering, absolutely eye-watering. I might have a little look and see if I can find something that's maybe a similar vibe, but a fraction of the price, because it is a very, very spenny item, but an item that I feel like just lifts and elevates this room like nothing else. I'm so excited about the addition of the lamp, and I feel like it's really... It's really bringing in the vibes that I feel like I always wanted with this house. I am very much a granny through and through with regards to my dress, with regards to my hobbies, and also with regards to my home. I love adding in those more like granny-ish pieces. Like, let's be honest, this is granny chic. I'm the epitome of, have you seen the TikTok that says, oh, I was a little bit worried that maybe it was a bit too grandma. And then I thought, who doesn't love a grandma? And that, that is just my vibe through and through. So to be able to add those like really personable pieces those pieces that just feel so quintessentially me really really excites me because i always talk about like reflecting yourself in your own true personal style and sometimes i think we forget about reflecting yourself in your own personal interior style as well so i'll see if i can find something similar and leave it linked down below if you did get to the end of this video comment spark down below in your comments i really do feel like i've gotten my spark back in fact i'm probably going to spend the rest of the evening on pinterest just having a look at pieces that i can add in just like little things here and there that i feel like give me so much inspiration in fact if you're not following me on pinterest i'll leave my pinterest link down below because i love pinning things i'm all, always sharing like outfits home photos in fact there's a lot on pinterest that i actually share that i don't necessarily put out onto instagram so be sure to follow me there if you want to see basically extra content extra outfits extra pictures of our home it's all over on my pinterest so anyway i'm gonna leave the vlog here i really hope you guys have enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye